My name is Tara Sanchez. I am the ninth and 10th grade academic counselor here at Fort Stockton High School. Our agenda for this video will cover credits, graduation requirements, endorsements, offered courses at Fort Stockton High School, Texas Scholars, Google Classroom pre-registration form, and pre-registration digital signature. Let's begin with the credits. What is a credit? A credit is earned with a grade 70 or higher, and it meets all attendance requirements for that semester. For example, Spanish 1, first semester average in 83, credit earned is half a credit. Will I earn the credit? Here are two examples of how credits are calculated for the year. English 1, first semester 65, second semester 70. When you average the two, they average to a 68. Therefore, the credit is only earned for a half of the year, and that is the second semester that was a 70. Let's take the second example, Algebra 1. First semester, 67. Second semester, 73. When you average for the whole year, it's a 70 or higher. Therefore, the full credit is earned for Algebra 1 for both semesters. Now, graduation requirements. If you noticed on the left, you'll, no, you'll see the number of credits to be classified as a freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. Our classifications are not by years in high school or by birth dates, they are by credits earned. Therefore, to be classified as a sophomore, the following year, you'll need to have between six to 12.5 credits. And then again for a junior, 13 to 17.5, and a senior, 18 or more to be classified as a senior. Another requirement for graduation is the five EOC. EOC stands for end of course star exams, and they're listed right here on the left. English one, English two, algebra one, biology, US history. Graduation requirements, House Bill 5. We'll go over foundation, endorsements, and distinguished achievements, and then come back to acknowledgement. Keep in mind endorsements are the following listed below, arts and humanity, business and industry, public service, STEM, and multidisciplinary. If you notice on the left, it covers both foundation number one and endorsements number two. You'll need the 26 credits listed below, four credits in English, four credits in math, four credits in science, three credits in social studies, two credits in world language or computer programming, one credit in physical education, one credit fine art, half a credit in speech, 6.5 credits in electives. On the right side, you'll see that number three distinguished level of achievement is the 26 credits that are covered on the left side with the addition of Algebra 2. What is an endorsement? An endorsement is the foundational graduation plan that we just discussed in the previous slide, which are all the classes listed right here. And in addition to the endorsement of your choice, arts and humanity, business and industry, public services, STEM, or multidisciplinary. An endorsement is earned when a student completes a coherent sequence of courses in a concentrated area of study. Now that we've gone over foundation, endorsement, and distinguished achievements, we're going to look at acknowledgement. Performance acknowledgement for graduation can be earned by outstanding performance and one of the following three. 12 credits earned in dual credit courses with a GPA 3.0 or higher, three credits in the same language with an average 80 or higher, or with the following exams, PSAT, ACT plan, SAT, or ACT. Another way to earn performance acknowledgement at graduation is to earn a nationally or internationally recognized business or industry certification or license. Endorsements and offered courses here at Fort Stockton High School. Fort Stockton High School endorsements are offered with the following courses listed below. 
So for arts and humanities, we have theater arts, art, band, and choir. Business industry, we have agriculture, architecture, and construction, information technology, hospitality, and tourism, language arts, manufacturing, transportation, distribution, and logistics. Public service, we have health science, human service, educational training, and criminal justice. For our STEM program, we have science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In our multidisciplinary studies, you select courses from a combination of two or more endorsement areas. An example endorsement for arts and humanities is band. So you would begin with your band instructor career pathway. And in ninth grade, you'll take band one, in 10th grade band two, 11th grade band three, and 12th grade band four. And in another example of an endorsement for business and industry is transportation, distribution, and logistics. We offer mechanic transportation, and we would start off with small engines, one in 10th grade, small engines, two in 11th grade, and our 12th grade year would finish off with power systems listed right here. An example endorsement for public service is our CNA program, our nurse health science. In 10th grade, you would begin with nutrition and wellness. 11th grade, you would take health science and medical terminology and 12th grade CNA and anatomy and physiology. And these classes are listed on the right. Your four-year plan is created in the career pathway class that is required by all freshmen at Fort Stockton High School. And this is an example of what the plan will look like and how you will develop your four-year plan in that class. Texas Scholars. Texas Scholars program is earn distinguished level of achievement, volunteer services performed locally, nonprofit, religious, or community service organization. The dates run from April 1st through March 30th. You'll need a total of 35 hours to be completed by senior year to receive recognition. And accumulated hours do not carry over to the next year, although students will be recognized for extra hours earned. So on the right side, you'll see the required hours needed per grade level. Ninth grade, you need five hours, 10th grade, 10 hours, 11th grade, 10 hours, and 12th grade, 10 hours. More information is available in the high school counselor's office. Google Classroom pre-registration form. In your Google Classroom, you will find a 2021-2022 freshman pre-registration form. That pre-registration form is posted in Google Classroom. You'll need to watch the how-to video on how to fill it out. They have drop-down menus in each yellow highlighted section. And then when you're finished, turn in to Google Classroom. The pre-registration dig digital signature a digital signature is needed on that pre-registration form and you complete it in the Google Classroom. So a common question is, how do I digitally sign? You simply type your name in the box while logged into your student email account. This one's important. You need to be logged in to your student email account for it to be recognized as your digital signature. Tips and reminders. Reminders for a successful freshman year. Start planning for the future today. Sit down and list options for after graduation that you might be interested in. Begin your Texas Scholar Hours now. Make freshman year productive and fun. And share your pre-registration form with guardians. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to call 432-336-4153. Our junior senior counselor is Ms. Delaney. You can reach her at penny.delaney at fsisd.net. My name is Tara Sanchez. I am the ninth, 10th grade academic counselor. You can reach me at tara.sanchez at fsisd.net. And our secretary, Ms. Hernandez, Sandra.hernandez at fsisd.net.